Hello and welcome. We are going to be starting shortly. So just in a few moments, we'll be joining everyone for our Qigong practice. So just a few moments, you can start arriving at your own pace, greeting each other. And now we are live. So welcome everyone. It is the top of the hour. It is another day of the week where we get to join together and practice. It is our Spring Forest Qigong everyday practice here on Facebook and on YouTube, an opportunity to meet each other as a large global community to practice this beautiful, simple, powerful practice created by Master Chun Yilin. My name is Yilin Bisonyo Ao. I'm your facilitator for the week. Um, I want to um, thank you for your patience because I know the sound hasn't been the best uh, throughout the week. So I'm hoping today that we have better sound and that you can hear my voice as I share with you and give you the instruction of the practice. My passion is Spring Forest Qigong. I'm a certified trainer, practice group leader. I'm a Qigong healer for Spring Forest Qigong. I started like many of you um, seeking my own balance and my own healing. And I found myself so inspired by the vision of Spring Forest Qigong, a healer in every home and a world without pain and suffering that I continued my journey. I studied, I've trained, and I continue to study and train. It is a, an ancient practice. So I'm excited that I have my entire life to fine tune and learn more and more so that I can share more and more. Some of you asked um, how, you could, how you could reach me. Um, and I just wanted to remind you, it's a very simple thing. All you have to do is go um, to Spring Forest Qigong to the website and find all my classes. Or you can also jump in and go to my website, which is called qiflow.org. You can find all my classes. You can find information about practice groups, which you can join either Facebook or Zoom. Um, and you can also find out about workshops um, that I teach, different offerings I teach with Qigong uh, being part and the central pillar of my practice and my services. So please uh, visit my site anytime you wish. The topic, the theme that I wanted us to think about um, this week was that appreciation for the year, for this year, of 2022 that is just about to end. We're in the last week. It is a time of reflection, but it is also a time that can kind of give us a little bit of anxiety. Uh, some of us might feel overwhelmed by the idea of starting anew. Um, it could be just a time of a lot of stimuli, a lot of overthinking, a lot of thinking about things. And that can be a little taxing to our body. So we're talking about conditioning, renewing ourselves, and what a better way than to go back to peace. And that is what we are going to be doing today. We're going to be practicing the third movement of the five element healing movement practice, which is connecting heaven and earth. And we're going to harness, grow, cultivate that feeling of peace, that feeling of be feeling grounded, feeling of belonging. Uh, that it's so necessary so that we can move forward. So we get to transform all these feelings of anxiety, overwhelm, uh, worry, concern, challenges, transform them into beautiful things. So it's another way in which we renew ourselves. So I'd like you to jump in with me if you're doing a standing practice. You also get to choose so you can do this practice seated or you can also do it lying down. Whichever way you decide to join, know that this is your practice, so please respect your body. And if you're going to join in a lying down position or in a seated position, be mindful of all the steps we go through, spinal alignment so that you can get a better flow of chi, you can get more benefits. So I will take you through the practice, I will uh, walk you through the practice, 
I'm going to do a standing practice myself. So I'm just using a different microphone today and it's just, give me one moment, it's got a little long and got tangled with my chair, but it's all good. And now I'm going to stand back so I can find a best practice, a best position to begin my bouncing practice. So let's start by bouncing. And to bounce, all you need to do is tune in to your own energy, tune into your body, create a standing position. If you're doing this like me, feet, hip with apart, shoulder with apart, knees gently bent, and just invite movement to begin at the knees, allowing the body to feel a vibration, a frequency throughout the entire body. This is going to assist in warming up the body, prepare the body. It will start the energy moving and it will get the energy flow throughout the body started for us. It's a great way to align yourself, to arrive to the practice, be here fully, body, mind, and spirit. And let's start embracing bringing that smile to the practice, which is such a simple and powerful way to start relaxing and healing. Start my internal love engine. And I'm going to ask you to invite your breath to help you cleanse and detox. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, Feel the body warming up, the tingling sensations throughout your entire body. And when you're ready, you can start raising arms, hands above the head. A very powerful movement to get more flow, more chi activated in the torso, supporting our heart system, our lung system, our triple heaters. I feel when I do this practice that I can breathe even deeper. Give your hands the opportunity to move freely, activating energy points in the wrist as you allow the hands and wrist to flap up and down. Now slowly and gently lower the arms. We're going to start moving side to side. Follow the movement with your eyes and with your head. And as you do this movement, feel the tension in your body beginning to ease. All the tension in the back, lower back, middle back and upper back. Easing slowly, gently, easily creating space in your spine. And you can give yourself a message. My spine is getting longer and longer, stronger and stronger. Now come back to center, continue bouncing for a moment or two. And then we're going to continue with our practice, our chi activation practice to continue to assist healing, detox, and to enhance the flow of chi so that we can go into the emptiness during our meditation practice. Let's start by tapping the stomach channel points on our face. Please do your own count. So we start with nine repetitions in each spot. Then follow at the beginning of the eyebrows, your bladder channel points. One cupped hand at the very top of the head. The Bahwe point, the gathering place. Sliding the hand down, base of the head. And when I do this practice, I'd like to support myself, but that is optional. I just find that it feels really comfortable to do this. And now let's 
find our C7, an important point in the body, an intersection point. Lower your chin down, feel the structure of the neck until you find that bony protrusion, and then use your fingertips to squeeze that area. This is also going to help you release tension in the body, in the neck, in the shoulders, in the arms. And at the same time, it's going to support that communication in the body, which is one of the beautiful things that we get to create with our Qigong practice. Good communication in the body. Now releasing that, activating the heart's energy by clapping your hands nine times. And then find the inner crease of your left elbow, clapping firm and gentle nine times, repeating on the other side, other arm, inner crease, the right elbow. Raising the arms, but you can find that point which enhances the energy of the heart, beginning of the heart's energy. And then raising the arm opposite side, repeating that same movement. I am now going to bend from the waist so that I can start tapping on the area of the tailbone, not directly, but on the sides, using loosed or open fists, creating percussion, sending in a deeper vibration throughout my spine, nurturing all my body, all my organ systems. Wonderful. Now let's tap the hip points in between hips and buttock. And then go down to tap the knees, front of the knees, back of the knees, and each side of the knee. Sides of the knee. Slowly and gently coming back up to a standing position, creating, fine-tuning the posture once again, feet firmly on the ground, a separate position of the feet, hip width apart, shoulder width apart, shoulders away from the ears, a gentle smile on the face, opening the arms, creating a space between your body and your torso, fingers open, hands rounded, align your spine. Bring your chin closer to your chest and give yourself a moment to feel this posture. Feel song like a beautiful pine tree. Solid, strong, resilient, flexible. And just feel a perfect balance between being relaxed and being active. Give yourself a moment to start easing into calmness, peacefulness. Check in that you are fully present, body, mind, and spirit. And as you ease into the emptiness, imagine yourself standing at the edge of creation. beginning of the universe, share the intention, the purpose of your practice for today. Release the intention and bring your focus and attention to your vitality center, the lower Dantian, right behind your belly button, a beautiful light, a soft light shining from within. And in that light, you say the Spring Forest Qigong password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Bring your attention to your heart and with love and respect, call upon your master's energy to guide you, to support you. See your channels being opened all blockages transformed, you are completely healed. And know this healing you create can be shared with the world. 
Imagine your master's energy like a beautiful sun shining, warming you up. And in that light, guide your hands right in front of your torso, right hand at the top of the torso, left hand right in front of the lower Dantian. And using your mind, your focus and your intention, you can tell yourself, I have a column of light in the center of my torso. Feel this light moving up and down, cleansing and nurturing your internal organs. Now lower your hands by the sides of your body. We're going to start our meditation practice. This movement is called Connecting Heaven and Earth. It's one of the movements that will require practice, love, and attention. You're going to bring your arms above your head. Now, any of the movements that we do in Spring Forest Qigong, we are mindful. So we tune in to our own body, to our own energy, and we shift and change. We adjust the movement anytime we need to. So if having your arms up here is uncomfortable, please lower them so that you find that perfect position for yourself. It can be goalpost position. You can alternate the movement. So anytime you feel tired, please bring your arms and hands down. You can go up and down. As you breathe in and breathe out, and you can use your imagination. So the last idea is that if you cannot move for whatever reason, please use your focus in your mind. Imagine yourself doing this movement. If you're able to do the movement, you're going to breathe and move at the same time. So we're going to breathe in and sink our body down. And then breathe out and bring ourselves up. And as you breathe in, sinking your body down, invite your toes to grip the ground. And for a moment, just imagine that connection to the earth, your planet, your home. Just think of all the ways the earth supports you, nurtures you, takes care of you. It might be through the food that you eat, it might be through the shelter, your home. It might also be that sensation of being with a tree, under the shade of a beautiful tree. With your arms up as you breathe out, fingers pointing to the heavens, feel that sensation of expansion. Feel the universe above you, the sky, the constellations, the sun, the moon, the universe is also your home. And just as a beautiful password, such a beautiful gift, powerful gift that Master Lin created for us, you are in the universe and the universe is in you. So feel that connection to the universe. Feel that connection to the earth. You become a bridge to both heaven and earth with this practice. And in doing so, you begin to feel belonging, grounding. You begin to feel the emotion of peace, welcome peace, welcome the vibration of peace to fill you up. 
You can give yourself that healing message. I feel peaceful. The energy of peace fills me up. Just as peace continues to pour in, filling you up, imagine a golden light, a yellow light, pouring in, coming through your skin, your tissues, your muscles, your organs, all the way down to your cells. the emotion of peace and this vibration of yellow. It's very healing for your stomach system. So any sensation, any pain, discomfort, any anxiety or worry, any sense of overwhelm can be transformed. You can invite all these things to turn into smoke. Invite them to turn into butterflies. Let them move away with ease. With every breath, they move away with ease. Continue to feel the light coming through with every breath, gathering at your lower dantian. With every breath, collect that light. As you continue to collect the light, the energy of peace continues to fill you up. Remember, good, better, best. You can adjust this movement at any stage of your practice. But if you're able to practice in this way, you will find so many benefits. Now gently begin to lower your arms, hands down. We're going to continue with our practice by joining our hands together. So we've had a focus of being grateful, sharing our appreciation for the year and tuning into this emotion of gratitude to support our vitality, supporting our kidney system and in this way preparing ourselves for this new year so renewing ourselves with peace and gratitude today i'd like you to start bowing from the waist you don't have to make bold movements everything in qigong is gentle and with every movement that you make every bow that you create Think of something that you feel grateful for. Allow that emotion to expand your heart. Allow that emotion to reach every part of your body, all the way down to your cells. Now, gratitude cannot tell the difference between small or big, so you can be grateful for the little things in life. The smile from a stranger, the cup of tea you had in the morning, The sound of birds singing 
and sunrise, and sunset. You can be grateful for your breath. You can share gratitude with your body, saying thank you to every organ for all their love, for all their unconditional love. Take a moment to say thank you to your master's energy for their unconditional love and support. Now, as you do this practice, universal light continues to pour in, this time expressed in a dark blue color, blue vibration, filling you up, gathering at your lower Dantian. And you can imagine this light going absolutely anywhere and everywhere it's needed. You can release all challenges, pain, discomfort, blockages, even extreme emotions like fear. Breathe them out, invite them to transform into something beautiful. Invite them to move away to the ends of the universe. If you find it challenging to think of things that you are grateful for, come back to the pure vibration of the words. Everything is energy. Everything has a vibration. The words thank you have a very high vibration. Just repeat them as you bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I bow to you for coming together as a community to practice. And I bow to the teachings and to our teacher. Now very slowly and gently, we're going to complete the movement, releasing the hands back down, bringing our focus to our lower Dantian, our vitality center, this time the light we see, we feel, we imagine is shining even brighter. We're going to bring this light to movement, asking, making the light move faster and faster, grow smaller and smaller, brighter and brighter until it becomes a point of light, like a pill. Tuck that light deep within you, behind your belly button, it is your medicine ready to kick in any time you need it. So let's finish today's practice by creating some soothing movements to help us feel even more grounded after our meditation. Begin by massaging your face from the chin all the way up to the forehead down the sides of the face do this a couple of times you can do it slow or fast use your fingertips and start combing hair back use two hands and start cupping front to back and this is a great practice to send all the extra Energy from the top of the body all the way down, where it can be useful for the internal organs. Now let's tap again the base of the head, keeping that communication 
open nurturing our nervous system. And now let's massage the ears. Pop all the way to the bottom, including the earlobes, which you're going to squeeze and tuck. Wonderful. Thank you so very much for today's practice. We've just done a very short, soothing practice is what we call the essential movements. If you have the time and you want to continue a longer soothing practice on your own, you can continue to do some harvesting. If not, I'm just going to sit here briefly um, to thank you once again for joining me today in this beautiful practice of Spring Forest Qigong to invite you again to come tomorrow um, to join in community and continue to practice um, and also to continue to renew yourself in this last week of the year. Invite your friends and your family to practice with you. The benefits of this practice are something that is worth sharing with the entire world. I send you many blessings and I will see you tomorrow.